Hi, welcome to this Corbin Mars video on the mode. In this video, we're going to look at how to find the mode from a frequency table. We're going to look at two questions based on that, and then we're going to look at how to find the modal class interval for a group frequency table. So here we've got a frequency table, and the question says the table shows the number of apples eaten in one day by 40 people. So we've got number of apples, 0, 1, 2, or 3, and we've got the frequency, and that means the number of people. So 11 people ate no apples, 14 people ate one apple, eight people ate two apples each, and seven people really love apples, they ate three apples each in a day. And we've been asked to find the modal number of apples eaten. So first of all, what is the mode? Well, the mode is the most common. So if you had a list of numbers, the mode would be the most common one. Or even if you had a list of people's favorite sport, the mode would be the most common one. And we've been asked to find the modal number of apples eaten. So the, the word mode has changed the modal. I think that's because it's describing the number of apples eaten. So whenever you're looking at a frequency table, quite often the word mode will change slightly to modal, but it means the same thing. It means the most common one. And we have the number of apples. So we could write these out. We could write 11 zeros, 14 ones, 8 twos, and 7 threes. But remember the mode's the most common one. So if we look at the frequency column, we'll be able to find the most common number by looking for the highest frequency. So the highest frequency in this list, 11, 14, 8, and 7, will be the 14. That's the highest frequency. And the number that happens the most is 1. So there's 14 number ones, so the mode is 1. And that's it. So to find the mode from a frequency table, you find the highest frequency, and then you write down which number or which value or whatever you're looking at has the highest frequency. Okay, let's have a look at another question now. So the next question says, the table shows the number of goals scored by footballers. So we've got number of goals scored, zero, one, two, three, or four, and we've got the frequency. So 16 people didn't score any goals, three people scored one goal, no people scored two goals, so two goals wasn't scored. Two people scored a hat-trick, where three goals, two people scored three goals, and one person scored four goals. And the question says, write down the modal number of goals scored. So we're gonna be looking for the number with the highest frequency. So the highest frequency is obviously 16, and the number with the highest frequency would be zero, because if we, if we wrote this out in the list, we'd have 16 zeros, three ones, no twos, two threes and a four. So those 16 zeros obviously happen the most often, so zero would be the modal number of goals scored. Okay, so that's the mode from a frequency table. Now let's have a look at what happens for a group frequency table. Okay, so let's have a look at now finding the mode from a group frequency table. So here we've got a group frequency table and it says the table shows the number of pages in 100 books. So we've got 100 books and the group frequency table says that seven books have between not and 100 pages. 25 have got more than 100, but less than or equal to 200 pages. 40 books have got more than 200 pages, but less than or equal to 300 pages. 12 books have got more than 300, but less than or equal to 400 pages. And 16 books have got more than 400, but less than or equal to 500 pages. And the question says, write down the modal class interval. So the modal class interval is the interval. So which one of these intervals happens the most? So in other words, which one has got the highest frequency? So as you can see from the frequencies, there's 40 is the highest frequency. So there's 40 books that have more than 200 pages, but less than or equal to 300 pages. So this is the modal class interval. And we just write it down. So we just write 200 is less than X, which is less than or equal to 300. And that's it. So to find the modal class interval, you just find the class interval with the highest frequency. And let's have a look at one more question. So the next question says, the table shows the ages of people in a town. So we've got ages and years. So we've got between zero and 25, between 25 and 50, between 50 and 75, and between 75 and 100. And we've got our frequencies. So we've got 435, 613, 388, and 151. And we've been asked to write down the modal class interval of the ages of the people. So we're looking for the class interval that happens the most. In other words, which class interval has the most people? And if we have a look at our frequencies, we've got 613 there, and that's the highest frequency. So that means that this class interval is the modal class interval. So in other words, the ages are bigger than 25, or greater than 25, but less than or equal to 50. And make sure you write it down exactly as it's written in the table, and that's it. So the modal class interval is the interval that happens the most. So in other words, the interval with the highest frequency, and that's it.